if you think Lisa's accident is a coincidence, no, it's not. This was already planned and the mission was actually accomplished. Yes. Now, let's go to the scene. If you've not watched that particular scene of the accident, I will employ you that after this video, just go back to this that video, watch that particular scene and see what happened. Yes, Lisa was on call. And she was talking and walking towards the main road. But then she has not got into the center of the road yet. She was still at the walkway. And then this vehicle came and you know did or accomplished the mission and zoomed off now the first point here is we don't know who was calling lisa on phone we didn't know who distracted lisa that made her not to be conscious of where she was going to that is one but i also want you to know that lisa was not at the center of the road because immediately that car accomplished the mission it had to kind of move back to the road and zoomed off. Now, I know you're wondering, oh, but we all saw it. Lisa was making call and she was lost with reality or she was not even conscious of where she was going to. And that was how the car, you know, you know, hit her and ran away or zoomed off. Yes, that is what it looks like. But that is not the real thing that happened. Whatever happened in that scene was planned already because Lisa was not at the main route. That's the truth. Now, why would anyone think of harming Lisa? I will explain. This is not just about Lisa, it's about Ben. And this has a link to do with Madame Stella and Vivian. Yes. You know, it could actually be from Vivian because Vivian has not told Madame Stella anything about um, Ben's suspicion and what Ben has been saying to her. But then you can agree with me that at this point, Ben knows too much already. And being that, you know, Mark's family are suspecting Vivian to be the one that, you know, transferred that money out of the account. There should not be any harm coming to Ben at this time directly. Because if any harm comes to Ben at this time directly, all fingers will be pointed at Vivian. Because the family already knows that, okay, Vivian, you know, transferred money from the family account to God knows where that cannot be tracked. So taking Ben's life or harming Ben... We just make, in fact, they don't need to stress much to know that she's the one that did it. So what should, what would she do this time to divert Ben's attention a bit? What would she do this time to make Ben get busy with other things and forget about her? They had to devise a means, or she had to devise a means to take Ben's attention from the present. Because Ben already knows too much. Remember Ben asking her who was responsible, you know, for her pregnancy. Remember Ben also asking her the relationship she has with Nick. So the questions are popping too much. And if there is nothing done to divert Ben's attention from Vivian, Vivian feels that Ben might wake up one day and everything that Ben has planned for her will come to pass. So how do we divert Ben's attention until we are able to elope with the money that we have gotten? The best option is to do something that will keep Ben busy. This thing might not come as a direct harm to Ben, but it's something that will make Ben get busy. So Lisa was the short bet. Lisa was used that is why if you watch the scene of that particular accident you will know that lisa even though wasn't conscious of where she was going to was not really at the center of the road so whether ben likes it or not now he will get busy with lisa he will try to make sure that lisa recuperates on time and you know get back to her feet so why he is busy doing this, Vivian and the mother will be perfecting their plan.
Yes, even though Ben or rather Nick is no more, but you and I know that the concentration will not just be on Nick right now. The concentration will be on Lisa because Lisa has to get well. And Ben, the tension will be shifted to make sure that Lisa gets well soon. Now, this is why I feel what Nick did is stupid. Because those people will not stop. And just look at Vivian's face when, you know, um, Ben was asking him or rather asking her what happened to Nick. This lady did not even show any form of, you know, she's not aware of it. And this family keeps covering up. Oh, she's pregnant. A pregnant woman cannot be arrested anymore. It's only in this particular series that I know that it, once a woman is pregnant, she's now immune to being arrested. Who, which law stated that? So it means all pregnant women can now go out and deal with other people. They can even take life of others and nobody. They can go about stealing and nobody will arrest them because pregnancy makes them immune to that. Like, it's the way that these people are just careless and carefree about things that is so annoying. Now, Lisa is going to take everybody's attention. Nobody asked again if, uh, what did you even say happened to Nick? No, it's not about Lisa, which is the right thing. Yes, because Nick is gone and is gone. But the person that is still alive needs to be taken care of to survive. So all attention will now be diverted to Lisa. Remember, nobody is talking about the lawyer anymore. Nobody is talking about what happened to Uju anymore. Nobody is talking about the money that was transferred to the account anymore. Nobody is talking about who is responsible for that pregnancy anymore. Nobody. Now, all attention has been diverted to Lisa. Why are these people like this? Why? Why? They keep compounding their problem because they refuse to resolve them one by one. They always resolve issues halfway. First of all, the particular lawyer that, you know, changed the will, Nobody is saying anything. Nobody has said anything about him since then. Uju and how Uju lost her life. Helen has not said anything about it. Boom. Money was taken out of, you know, the company's account. There is no story about that anymore. Vivian's pregnancy and who is responsible? Nothing. Another one is up because the more you keep piling your problems, the more the problems keep adding up. Because once you refuse to resolve this or face your fears and resolve a particular problem, it will bring the brothers and sisters along. And that is what is happening to Mark and his family. They have refused to do Vivian. And as such, they are just bringing in problems here and there. Guys, what do you think? Do you think that, you know, what Ben did was the right thing? Do you also think that Vivian and the mother are responsible for what happened to, you know, um, Lisa? Do you think that that was done to di divert the family's attention from the present situation? Drop your opinion in the comment section and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.